Kim Gidley, thanks for taking the time. A uh, match last week against Idaho. You fared very well. I was really impressed with your doubles play. Yeah, they were uh, on and off, and that's exactly what we want. And our system is, you know, one touch and be one and done. And was really pleased with the energy um, on all three courts. Super contagious. And, uh, you know, obviously number three set the tone. Uh, they didn't lose a game. And even the one game they were down love 40 and came back to win it. So they literally won at every point. So super excited about that. And then to have Izzy and Abby close out the doubles point so quickly, you know, at number two. And they played together and haven't yet to lose a match yet together as a team also. What does that do for you as a team? I mean, when you can win doubles that quickly and kind of that really sends a message to the other team like, I uh, hope you're ready to play, right? Well, it's obviously it's great energy. And any time you play in an Air Force team, Anytime they step on the court, the field, whatever sport it is, that's what you would expect. Yeah, yeah for sure. Now, uh, in the singles, you mentioned Izzy comes back and, and, and uh, she wins her singles match, which really was the winner of the whole of the whole meet. But talk about your team and are you excited? Are you happy with how they're playing tennis this far in the season? Well, you know, to we had four 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 first sets, which was huge. Uh, really needed that. That really set the tone and momentum. Because um, a lot of times you could win the doubles point and then come out a little flat and, okay, we don't have to do our job. And singles is you got to work just as hard because the doubles is only worth one point. There's three more points there. And, and Idaho did a great job of fighting and staying in the matches. And, you know, in every match we, we you know, dug little holes and then got out. And, I mean, Sid had great energy at one. Lex was down at times in post sets, came back, and, and really stepped it up at the time that she needed to and then obviously you you had where Izzy you know huge first set winning that 7-5 was down the entire time only broke the girl once to do that and it was great that Abby could dominate at four you know six through that first set that really kind of set the tone so like hey if we're up at point and and we need just three more and you're already down first sets um, that was really awesome. But it was really a, a great team effort all the way through. And it did get exciting. You know, we had some close matches. And then, um, you know, court at five, uh, sh struggled a little bit that first set, came back, was up in the second set before having to default. And then, uh, obviously, Ari, same thing. She was up 4-1. Then it got super tight. She was down 5-4, 6-5. And to come back to do that um, for a freshman. So I like the fact that we've been put under pressure. Um, and, and that was just such a huge win for Izzy. I mean, so exciting. And even that get last game, she was down on the third set. She was down there. It was just such a tough week with travel and then, you know, an academic week with exams. You know, I had one, one girl had four exams that week. So it, it, was, it was a tough week. So to come in in the middle, middle of the week and play and play late night, it was awesome. Yeah, for sure. And that wasn't the only thing that happened. Of course, it was the only match that happened, but there was National Girls and Women in Sports Day on Saturday, and uh, you had other things going on as well. Yeah, I was, again, we talk about service before self and busy week, and so we practiced Saturday morning, and then they were able to give back and you know for a two-hour clinic with the girls, and I think that's always a great example when we talk about Title IX and empowering her. And even for that was a, our Title IX match with Pack the House. So, you know, really thankful for USAA for making the shirts and all those, the water bottles and all those things for that to set the tone and, and things like that. And we're also having ball girls, you know, so that's a, that's a new thing that we're adding to the program. Um, and then afterwards had an opportunity to go up to the Colorado Chassa to the high school and do a presentation there with them. Busy, busy week. So this week, you get a little bit of breather time, I guess, and uh, maybe get your team ready before that big Navy match next weekend. Yeah, go, going to Orlando at the USTA National Campus. I mean, it's just such a neat venue. It's exciting. Um, it's it's really electrifying. It's If you have an opportunity to do it, it's probably the only time they get to be like – it's, it's better than the NCAA tournament. It's just really, really, really cool. So um, it's fun. We get to play in front of alumni. We get to f play in front of just people that want to know tennis. And uh, we got two big matches, and uh, we'll, it will be great to be there. Yeah, should be fun. Kim Gidley, good week of tennis. Thanks for coming in today. Go Blue.